you have a business, you're going to also want to have a logo for that business so people could relate an image or a design to you. And this also makes it good for all your social media, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. You need some type of image that people could see and think of you. So a cheap way to create a logo is to use the website Fiverr and you could get really good results for really, really cheap. So what I did was I came over here and the seller I was using is right here. It's M-A-H-E-S-H-A-D-I-L. And she did some great work for me. Um, I did do some extra tweaks to it after using Adobe Illustrator, but we'll get to that part. Uh, for now, let's see what it is that she offered. And for two logos, it was only $11. And per logo, you get two versions. So it's really great. Uh, how much you get for the price is crazy. Uh, five revisions, um, the vector file, logo transparency, the included source file is the main thing that I wanted. I wanted the Adobe Illustrator file so I can make additional tweaks because sometimes I like to customize it a little bit more. So she came up with these designs here first and this one looked too much like a competitor so I told her no. This one, it was okay. These two I didn't like so I told her to make some changes to it. She came back with these ones. I really like this one, the audio business right here, and this is where I started customizing it from there. Uh, this one, it was okay, so I just let her leave it like that. This one I thought was all right, so I left it like that. This one I had to redo, and then it came down to these being the final. I wanted her to just touch up the color real quick here. So these were the extras. This one I wasn't a big fan of, so I'm not using it, but I accepted it as is. And that was it for all of that. Now, if we look over at the actual files, you can see this is the one she sent. Oh, not that one. This is the one that she sent over. It looks really nice and everything, but I wanted to customize it. The color's not exactly how I wanted it. I prefer my old designs color, a little bit more of an orange gold look. So I ended up with this logo here. So I changed that to a, the type of orange I like. And I also added in these little white uh, rectangles on the faders to make it look a little bit more detailed. So that compared to the one she sent. So you can just see there's little customizations done using Adobe Illustrator. I'll show you how to get Adobe Illustrator for pretty cheap and you only have to use it for a month. But um, that's the change I made. Design one, this one I didn't, I'm not doing anything with really. Uh, I thought it was an okay logo but I prefer the other one here, so I'm rolling with that. Now this is the other logo that she had made for me, which I thought was pretty cool, but uh, I wanted to make some changes, and based off of that audio business logo that I really liked, I then customized my Raw Technique Studios logo to also match that, so they could be similar. So you can see, here's one of my takes here. Uh, I added the faders on the left with the little dashes in them. I have four faders on here. Uh, I had I also added my little um, bird logo here from my old logo. I added it to this one just to have that as my main thing because I've always had that for years now and I wanted to incorporate it into the Raw Technique Studios logo. But you can see I have all kinds of different versions. I was messing with Al's eyes here. Uh, I, could, I was trying to figure out what to do. I was doing different designs with it and then I finally settled on having it like that uh, that outside part I was just doing it for the YouTube banner and then doing a Twitter banner with it here and then just having my little bird or the owl as the icon for little um, like the Instagram circle having it like that or the YouTube little uh, square having it there so I was just messing with it and to be able to do all that you need to use a program like Adobe Illustrator and because she already sent me the file I was able to just easily mess with it I don't know anything really about Adobe Illustrator so I just downloaded it and started messing with things and was able to customize it so you don't really need to be advanced with Adobe Illustrator or anything like that so if you head over to adobe.com and you click on the Adobe Illustrator option you could purchase a plan or a monthly thing to be able to access Adobe Illustrator and adjust your logo to customize it. For annual, if you plan on 
adjusting stuff for a whole year, then you could do that. But it will be pretty pricey over the year uh, worth of use. What I did was I went over here to monthly. There's no commitment. You could use it for just one month and be done with it. So that's what I did. I downloaded it for $29.99. That made it to where I could make any adjustments I wanted to to my logo and get it all how I want it. Make a PNG, make a JPEG, make all the files that I need for it. And then I could just cancel my membership at the end of the month. So if we go over here to Adobe Illustrator, you can see all the different versions that I was trying to mess with here. Um, and yeah, so it just makes it really easy to do adjustments. So let's go ahead and click on the logo for this course that we're actually in right now. So the audiobusiness.com or just the logo is called the audio business. And I adjusted these here. If I zoom in, you can see these little parts here. They weren't originally there. It was just like this and it was more narrow and with the color for the audio this part here as well as these faders I decided to change that so I could like select all of these here and I could change it to whatever color I want now this is the color I like to use that's the color that I've been using for a while on my old logo so but if I wanted to I could throw in some weird color like that and you could adjust it so instead of just having revision after revision and paying for more revisions on Fiverr or whatever artist does your logo for you, you could just do it yourself, $29.99 a month, and just make these little tweaks. If you don't know how to do like major changes, then yeah, that's when I would pay somebody to redo my logo. But if they get close to what I want and I just want to make small changes, then I just do it like this and uh, get the logo that you truly want and little customizations. But that's Adobe Illustrator. I don't know a lot about it. All I do is just, I know how to change colors over here. I know how to do basic little creating squares and stuff like that. And with this, like, this is rectangle tool here. I can make a little rectangle here. And then what I did was just turn this white and there you go, added that into the faders to give it a little bit more detail. Just really basic stuff. So if you are looking to have a logo done for cheap, check out Fiverr and that one uh, seller that I mentioned, which was this one here. She does really great work. Um, so hopefully she's still around when you get to watch this video, but she has a lot of great reviews and she's really nice going back and forth and gets the design that you want, at least in my experience she did. So once you get your logo going, you could customize it on your Adobe Illustrator subscription, make yourself a Twitter banner, a YouTube banner, the little logos for like Instagram and Facebook, Twitter, all those things where the little circle is, have a part of your logo there. Just make all of that stuff during the month that you have this and then you won't have to worry about it later. So it gives you a month of customizations for only $29.95 or $29.99, whatever it was. And then super cheap here, 11 bucks to get two logos done. So it only works out to like $40 to have logo creation by somebody on Fiverr and then downloading Adobe Illustrator and adjusting it based on that Adobe Illustrator file to customize it. 40 bucks to have a logo and the Twitter design, all that stuff you make yourself in Adobe Illustrator, super cheap and a great way to do it. I mean, of course you could always go to an artist. Maybe you already know an artist or you want to go to somebody who's designed someone else's logo. You could do that. It tends to be a little bit more expensive. So this is a cheaper option but definitely get a logo made and have your Twitter banner, your YouTube banner, um, all of that stuff made so that you could have your business presented in a way where people could relate that logo, that design to you and your services.